societal solidarity, the rights of parents, the elderly, and the weak people as a model. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, do good for Allah love those who do good. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God worthy to worship but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The message of Islam is a message of humanness, righteousness, and compassion. The aims at making people enjoy a decent life in a light of cooperation and solidarity. And on, on the basis of consultation, consolation, and mutually appreciating others' hardships. Islam aims also to remove all manifestations of selfishness and greed. The Prophet said, he is not a believer whose stomach is filled with, while the neighbor to his side goes hungry. The Prophet said, Allah has blessed certain people with graces and he will keep these graces as long as those people help in fulfilling Muslims' needs. If they become bored with helping others, Allah would withhold these blessings. If those religious, humanitarian, and societal values are required among all people, they become more required at times of hardship and crisis, and become more necessary for the weak people who need a special care. If goodness shown to the poor is a charity, and consider kind of a charity, as for the rights of parents and showing them kindness, it is uncomparable act in its goodness. And the Almighty Allah has ordered us to be fully kind to our parents and show them courtesy, saying, Your Lord, your Lord has commanded that you should worship none but him, and that you be kind to your parents. If either or both of them reach old age with you, say no word that shows impatience with them and do not be harsh with them, but speak to them respectfully. And lower your wing in humility toward them in kindness and say, Lord, have mercy on them just as they cared for me when I was little. It goes without saying. That kindness to parents is a trait of people of a good nature, and its righteous deed fostered by all divine messages. Moreover, it's a conduct of the prophets and messengers. Peace be upon them all. Allah said about Prophet John, peace be upon him. He was kind to his parents. He was kind to his parents, not domineering or rebellious. Allah also said about Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, to be kind to my mother, he has not made me arrogant or deviant. Or deviant. Once Prophet Muhammad وسلم, visited the grave of his mother, and he wept and caused those around him to weep out of his love for her mom. Parents have a several rights over children, including showing them for reverence, respect, and obedience. As the Almighty Allah said, lower your wing in humility toward them in kindness. Once Abu Hurairah saw two men, once Abu Hurairah saw two men, he asked one of them, what is the relation of that man to you? He replied, he is my father. Abu Hurairah said, do not call him by his name, walk in front of him, or sit down before he sits. These rights are also include showing them excessive kindness when they get older. And this is a form of compensating them for a part of what they have done. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, 
If either or both of them reach old age with you, say no word that shows impatience with them. And not be harsh with them, but speak to them respectfully. Allah are your wing in humility towards them in kindness and say, Lord, have mercy on them just as they cared for me when I was little. In addition, we affirm that a blessed person is one who wins the supplications from his parents due his good treatment of them. In that way, he would win the happiness in this life and the hereafter. The Prophet wasallam said, there are three supplications that will, that will undoubtedly be answered. There are three supplications that will undoubtedly be answered. The supplication of one who has been wronged, the supplication of the traveler, and supplication of a father for his child. Thus, the supplication made by parents to their son and daughters will be answered by Allah. The one who is not good with his parent has no goodness at all. The one who is not good with his parents has no goodness at all. He cannot be taken as a close friend and people cannot be saved from his betrayal. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. As the pure Islamic Sharia emphasized of being on being kind to parents, it orders us to be kind to the elderly and vulnerable people and show them due respect and care. Moreover, it is stated that honoring them that is a sign of honoring the Almighty Allah. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it is out of reverence to Allah to respect the aged Muslim. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said, he is not one of us. He is not one of us who does not have mercy on your young and does not respect our elders. Very important hadith. He is not one of us who are Rasulullah who does not have mercy on our young and does not respect our elders. The Prophet ﷺ also said, the young should greet the old. Once the Prophet ﷺ had said to a person who wanted to speak before an aged man, give preference to old age. That is, give the aged person his status and do not speak before him. The humanness of our religion is manifested in the, in the fact that it does not differentiate between the elderly and the vulnerable people in a term of showing them respect and kindness based on their religion or race. Once Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu saw an elderly man from the people of the previous scriptures and he was begging from people, he took him to his home gave him what may fulfill his needs. He then sent it to the officer of the treasure and commanded him, look for this person and his alike and, rel and relieve them of any dues. He said, look for this person and his alike and relieve them for any, of any dues. It's not fair to benefit from him in his young age and neglect him in his old age. How much do we need to promote the value of solidarity, respect, and recognizing others' favor in order to spread fraternity and affection throughout the whole society? May Allah save our country, Egypt, and all other countries of the whole world. Thank you.